The FSV in Florida Flambeau recently released an issue on sex, complete with nudity on the front page. Model Megan McKenzie posed nude, but wasn't happy with the final product. But I thought that I would have somewhat more input than I had. My input was, shut your mouth and look pretty. Many were unhappy that the paper included articles on sex toys, casual hookups, and what music to listen to during sex, but did not discuss safe sex or use the word condom. It seemed like they were writing about sex just for the taboo. Ooh, we're writing about sex, it's naughty. The police brief section includes a story about a woman who was sexually assaulted with a heading seeming to mock the victim. It's sexist and terrible, and I was really, really, really offended by that. FSU Editor-in-Chief Bailey Scherzinger declined an invitation to an interview, but did offer this statement. We are very proud of our recent issue about sex. We believe it stands on its own. We are thrilled about the positive feedback we've received from this issue. That was the graphic sexual content that had many readers' blood boiling. Some students were left with more questions than answers because of the editorial process. FSU Professor Jennifer Prophet believes the paper's corporate ownership may have resulted in the issue. Gannett, a newspaper chain that owns more than a hundred other newspapers, owns the FS View. Gannett bought the paper in 2006 to capture the college market. Um, they're the ones that advertisers want, um, and I think that might be one reason why this is so sensational. John McSweeney, for FSU.